Welcome back to the channel guys, me and Simon are back out again Early one today, it's about 10 to 9 now Just stopped in Greg's, Simon's there feeding his face Starving Starving So today we're on a wild camp, we've been invited by None other than Taff, Wild Man of the Woods He's um, done a recce on this campsite we're going to And it's in an undisclosed location, he wants to keep it secret so we'll do our best to do the same so we're gonna head on up now meet up with Taff and head to the campsite we've had permission to come through the gate I think it's about a four mile sorry four kilometer trek from uh, where Mark is waiting so he's drawn the short straw, you gotta wait in the, at my car. Um, Taps dropped me up here with all the equipment. And he's going back to pa uh, pick up Mark. So those two will be walking up here. I'm not gonna hang around you until they get here. So hopefully they get here soon. It's about 4K. So as soon as they get here, we're gonna set up a camp. We've made this packs are on. Taff is there. He's leading the way to his location. When we get there, we're gonna put the tents up before it starts chucking it down. Any good sign? Huh? In the groove. Oh man. Every time. Hey. Easy. Taff is over there, he found a spot. He sort of leveled off his ground, cleared any debris from it under his pitch. Not a bad spot we found here. There's not many places to pitch tents around here, mind. Um, I think there's one spot a bit further on, which is over to the left. We probably get two tents in there. That's a push, so. Something different though, isn't it? It's like yeah, it's nice. It's nice to be out. Like, we don't do many camps in the like the woods and stuff, do we? So, no. So, uh, thanks to Taff for inviting us on this one. It should be a good night. I pitched my tent there, and I'll show you inside. I'm quite happy with this. It's really flat, to be fair. Um, I've kept most of the guy lines where I can, as short as I can, so I'm not tripping over those at night. Yeah, it's a nice place. Show you the lake there, look. And you've got this nice backdrop of this hill going round. See some waterfalls coming down. Yeah, I'm happy with this. This is good fun. Good fun. So, it's nice to get back out in the tent again. And with Taff, it's nice to see Taff again because we haven't seen it for a while. Yeah, so I think we'll have a nice cup of coffee or even a cup of chocolate even if I... That'd be nice. Yeah, I think we've got a brew on the go now. Get warmed up. For some reason, I'm one steak short, so Mark has lent me one of his Cyclone steaks. And they're pretty good for soft, web, uh, soft ground. Well, that is perfect. I'll put that in there. Brilliant. Give me a bit of air to go through my vent under there. Perfect. Yeah, it's a nice place this is. We're hidden away in this corner, so I don't think anyone's gonna come round here, but yeah, we're pretty secluded. 
And you see my tent is covering Mark's tent, which is orange, so I don't think we get spotted around there. Uh, people, if they, if they do come round here, I don't think people will, but... Yeah, it's good. Time for a coffee. Today I'm using my Fire Maple remote stove. As you saw from the last wild camping video we've done, my BRS um, 3000 stove unfortunately gave up the ghost. I've got um, a Soto Windmaster on order. That's being delivered on Monday, I think it is. So I'll be using that on the next video. So what I'm gonna do now is have a nice coffee Nest Cafe 2-in-1 and get warmed up a bit. Just got my windshield to go around the stove. It's a little bit breezy here. And I'm hoping that when I get the, the new stove next week, I won't need to use one of these as much. I have heard good things about those stoves. Uh, people saying you don't need a, a windshield, hence why they're called the Windmaster. And in the end, it was a toss up between one of those and an MSR pocket rocket. So thanks for the comments on the last camping video we did. In the end, the Soto Windmaster sort of swayed it for me. So yeah, I purchased one of them. Can't wait to see um, how that performs. So here he is guys and gals, Taff Walton Man of the Woods. Hi there everyone. In his free season tent, it's pretty similar to one we had before. We had we had the Van Gogh Hurricane 200. Same shape innit? Very similar, yeah. This is the Everest 1953. What did you say to make if it was again Taff? I forgot. Track Peak 2. Track Peak 2. Yeah, it's a German make. Uh, Vorsprung durch Technik. You can't get better any better than that, can you? You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Loads of room there, isn't it? Oh, mate, it's lush. High ceiling, I can hang my lamp, hang my little lamp up on the ceiling. I like that. Yeah. Go have a tent, a bit of room. I'll just show you my um, my sleep setup for tonight. It's probably uh, the usual what you've seen before. Got the Leviathan sleeping bag, down bag, the Nemo pillow, and the Firm Arrest Neo Air X Firm inflatable pad. Does it look like they've got a suntan? So I'll tell you something now, you won't be getting one up there. It's <laughs> absolutely bitter. Can't wait for a bit of warm weather now, let me tell you. That's a millet's tent. I didn't know they sold millet's tents for um, 600 quid each. Well, you got knocked on, you look at the state of it, You said it was shit, I didn't you? <laughs> Having a brew with you, Taff. I am indeed. I uh, left my windshield back in the uh, backpack in the tent. Borrow mine if you want. That's don't, you don't reach. Oh, it's, doesn't it? It's not being on a small it's side. Not tall yeah, it is. It only costs a pound, mind. Yeah. That was a work. I got a, I got a tall one, and it's just over there. You know, I'm just wondering being as as little as possible over here. Here we are. It's boiling now. That was a pound on um, AliExpress. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? It's okay for the short. Don't it's laugh. It's all right. How much it, was, it was cheap. How much is the tent on AliExpress? <laughs> Me, Simon and Taff have been chilling for the last hour. Just stood round having a chat. Simon's brought his um, Bushnell HD trail cams. We're going to attach it to one of these trees overnight. 
see if we can pick anything up any animals or any int intruders onto our camp or anything no intruders no we don't want intruders animals are fine so um we'll just yeah attach it to the tree see what we can pick up overnight it's just a bit of fun really and i tell you what this wind's picked up But where we are, it's not too bad. We've got a bit of shelter from the wind and rain because we're in the woods, well, sort of on the edge of the woods. Yeah, and it's not the warmest day. It is quite cold, to be fair. So there's the trail cam, all set up. And let's see if um, we can catch anything overnight. I'll show you what I'm having for tea tonight. This is going to be fun. I've got four smash burgers, four there in tin foil. I've got what did I put in there? Um, I think that's lettuce in there. I've already um, cut that up ready. In there, I got some thinly sliced beef tomatoes. In there, I got some brioche buns. And I've made some homemade burger sauce. So, yeah, I'll be cooking them up a bit later on. been asleep for about two hours. Well it's not my bag on my um, sleeping pal I just nodded off. So just woken up now and have a quick look out the door. There's Taff, Mark. Did you have a nice sleep Mark? Yeah it was alright. Having a ring bouncing off the roof. This way this shit. Do you know what I was so comfortable here yeah, I just nodded off. It was wicked. Yeah, it's shit. What can we do there? You know, what can we do? But we're hardcore wild we campers. We're hardcore, yeah, hardcore. We are. We're the hardest core. <laughs> oh, we're just nuts. <laughs> oh, nuts, eh? Uh... Crazy, isn't it? Well, it saved me the embarrassment of watching Wales getting beaten by Italy. But I don't know. Wooden spoonists. Yep. Yep. Could be worse. Could be a Cardiff fan. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Nothing else to do. So we're gonna go for a wander through the woods. Oh, there's a plantation, isn't there? Yeah, plantation. Forest plantation, national resources, real work. You can grow all these trees, they're going to just chop them down, right? Yeah. So that when I turn up over the bit, I feel on the mountain there, chopping all these trees down. Yeah. And it's a little side of the hill, and it's all better. It's on a family, seven years ago. So then we've got more trees there, isn't it? Yeah. Got some trees come down here. Across the path. Oh. How much further can you go, Simon? There's a duvet by the hand of the boy. Oh my god. Well, I ain't walking through that though. See now? Yeah. No telling how deep that is. No. There's a duvet down here. Yeah, the Hello. Where's the bed? <laughs> I reckon I'm going to go back to the tent. <laughs> I was going to cook some smash burgers tonight. I think it's plan B with a pot noodle. <laughs> Unless I can cook them in the vestibule. I'll, I'll see what happens later. God, this is grim. This is grim. 
I'm back in my little house of fun now. This rain is unrelenting. And if it sounds worse because, well it is worse because we're in the trees and it's dripping from the trees straight onto the tent. So, it's not a lot we can do really, the three of us are back in our tents now. So there's only one thing for it really, a couple of these. Cheers everyone. I've decided to try and cook some burgers in my tent. It's going to be tight, but I reckon I can do it. I would rather do it outside, but weather's put pay to that. So I got my I've got my jet boil skillet and all my ingredients. So let's give it a go. Just put a bit of vegetable oil in the pan. I'm gonna toast my buns up first, then I'm gonna smash the patties down, the burger patties, and cook them. Right, let's see how we get on. Right, the oil is um, heating up now, you want that nice and hot. There's my first patty, I just need to smash it down. I've only got this plastic spatula, so it's not ideal, but I'll give it a go anyway. You want these nice and thin. I just drop the first one in. Doesn't matter what it looks like. Look at that. Bit of seasoning on the one side. You just need the one side. Just like that, bit of salt. What I do as well. Get a bit of this burger sauce. Put that on this side. So when you turn it over, it'll hold all the meat all together. Well that's the idea anyway. Put another one in there now. So you want two two burgers on the one in the one bun. Put a bit of burger sauce on each side of the brioche bun, just like that. Maybe spread that out a bit further, like that. All you need to do now, flip these over. Look at that. Put a bit of cheese on the one of them, just like that. Let that melt a little bit. Get some tomato on there. Two slices. Bit of lettuce. And I put that burger on top of the other one, just like that. And then the two on there. Turn the gas off. And put the lid on. And that's it. That's your smash burger. Camping style. Have a look at this. 
Look at that. I can't believe I cooked that in this tiny area. Right, give it a taste test. Oh man. Wow. Mmm. Beautiful. Wow, what a burger. Oh, I'm stuffed now. That burger was lovely. And I reckon the reason why it tasted so good was that homemade burger sauce I made. Just get half an onion, grate it on a box grater, add mayonnaise, French yellow mustard, Worcestershire sauce and hot sauce, mix it all up and then stick it on your buns and on your burger while you're cooking it. Oh, divine that was, absolutely divine. Can't wait to do that now when the weather gets warmer, hopefully it gets warmer and then do it on some summer camps maybe and cook it outside, yeah. Really recommend them if you ever want to make them. Beautiful. And the um, the minced beef I used was a 80 to 20 fat content. I use that because it holds the burger together better when you're cooking it. So yeah, beautiful. Welcome back, guys. Me, Simon, and Taff have been confined to our tents for the last three or four hours. We haven't done a whole lot. Just had a couple of beers. And watch some YouTube um, videos. Taff's just got in a bed, he's just messaged me. He's watched a um, couple of movies on his um, on his phone. So me and Simon are going to turn in for the night now. If anything interesting happens, we'll be sure to film it. And you'll see it on the video. But if nothing happens, we'll see you in the morning. And anyway, good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, guys. Morning. It's half five now. Just woke up, although I woke up around half three. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and then managed to get another couple of hours. But the rain, right? It's been like this all night. <laughs> oh my god. I half wish we um, abandoned it or just didn't come to be honest it's no fun but you know we're, we're stuck in the tent like we've been in the tent most of the night so though it's just getting me down this weather just doesn't stop beautiful camp spot but <sighs> this weather is just so annoying morning folks what a wet night that was. Starting to get a bit light now. Outside the tent you've got these little little areas they filled up with water overnight. It's absolutely saturated around here. All around here. And all up the Taft's tent is the same, just full of water. Absolutely horrendous. It's like Mark says, a great camp spot, but the rain we've had has just been just non stop, absolutely non stop. And there's not much you can do in the rain when you're camping, all you can do is basically stay in your tent, which is not much fun to be honest with you. Me and Simon are going to start packing up now. I don't know what Taft's doing, I think he might be still asleep or something. But it's going to be an inside out job now. Get all that stuff in the packs and then obviously get out and then put the tents away. I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> We've started putting our stuff away. We haven't done all of it like, so let's go and see um, the wild man of the woods. Let's see if he's awake. Tap's 
half. Hello. Knock, knock. Yeah. You awake, mate? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that night then? Which end? Oh, there he is. <laughs> Did you get much sleep? Yeah, I wear earplugs. Oh, do you? Yeah. Morning. Morning. Morning, Tar. Nice and wet in your vest, if you leave. Yeah, but, uh, I suppose so it's better, better than there's a lot of pine needles there. Yeah. So, a lot of conversation in the tent last night. Loads of mine as well. Yeah. Loads of mine. I did, um, I did put my head out late last night. And, um, Hang on, what's happened to the light? I, <laughs> I did Bloody put my head out last night and it looked misty. Did it? You know that it looked like clag? Yeah. That's what it looked like, it was misty. You see the torch beam. I woke up at two o'clock, I did. But, um, I Quarter woke... past three, I did. <coughs> I slept a lot, though. Yeah. I slept a lot. I woke up a few times. It's just a rain coming through the trees, hit on the tent, boom, boom, yeah, boom, no, boom. I, I, I wear your plugs all the time. Yeah. But um, I got a few times up a piss like and it just kept raining so Yeah, I'm stopped, did it? Tell you what, I heard some funny noises. Do you hear it? Like a screeching noise? Yeah, it could have a fox out, isn't it? I don't think it was a fox, I, I know what a fox sounds like. Yeah. It's, it's not a munt jack deer, is it? Yeah, it didn't sound like a fox, see, but it, it could have been. Early hours it sounded like somebody was sneezing. I don't know. I am. Um, the like thing is, in here, you, you hear some weird noises. The noise I, I heard was coming from over that way. It was behind my tent, it was. I was like, what the hell was that? Um, it, it happened twice and then it stopped. Like, I was like, it could be a, could be a fox, right? He do screech, doesn't he? I, I yeah. did do something along those lines, ran in between sleep. I also, well, yeah, I also saw he had a dog barking as well. So yeah, he said, I, I said, yeah, I thought that as well. It wouldn't have been a dog at that time in the morning, would it? No, I don't know. No. So, well, so, so. <laughs> anyway, it's all good fun, isn't it? You know, I don't normally get up this early. Do you? No. I, do we wake you up? No. He uh, didn't wake me up. He just prompted me to uh, sort of. Because I think from your videos, you like quite early risers and yeah, yeah, pack yeah. up and ship out. I get up at 20 past five in the week anyway for work, like. Yeah. Well, I do. Yeah, every day. I do. I do but <coughs> But weekends, just tend to lie in. I don't see, I, I can't do it. Mag, you want to lie in? Sorry, sorry, Taff. No, you didn't wake me up. I, you just like prompted me that uh, you were there probably packing your fucking shit up. I put, I put a bit in the pack, yeah. like, I, I haven't thought. Um, I'm not leaving just yet. No. One, I want to uh, see if there's going to be a break in this rain. Yeah. I'll take the tent down. And uh, I can't, you know, I'm hoping to get vehicle. Um, you know, that's my plan anyway. I might walk in halfway or back to that tower, depending on what you We might just get our packs on and go back like yeah. we're used to walking this like you know. Plus the the packs are lighter now. We haven't got food and beer like you know. I swap you. <laughs> <laughs> so have a look around the camp. The the rain is easing off now. Thank God. Well, I tell you what, if it wasn't um, that bad, the weather, lovely spot for the camp, look at it. You know, one, one we'll definitely come back to. You know, you've got a view of the lake there. Really nice. Got a bit of mist on the top of the hill there. <clears throat> Got a couple of waterfalls coming down. I don't know if you can see them on the GoPro. Yeah, like I said, lovely camp spot. But the weather... Well, the weather was shit, basically, but... It is what it is, you know. Right. I think I'll start putting the rest of my gear away now. And then, um, take the tent down. Get it. 
soaking. Absolutely soaking. That brings an end to another wild camp. Thanks to Taff for inviting us on this one. Yeah, cheers lads. Sorry it was raining next uh, time. And it's still raining. But it was a good it was good fun despite the weather. Hopefully next time we can get some pick some dry weather. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you made it this far, give us a, a thumbs up. And if you, if you want to see more content, hit the subscribe button. As always, leave no trace. We'll see you on the next one.